Okay, the super short answer here to why women over 50 gain weight is that your body is changing, but your habits aren't. You wanna talk about that? <laughs> Let's go. Hey, Killer Bees, it's Paula B, your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we are all about making peace with your menopausal body by finding a healthy weight and moving in ways that feel like self-love. Do you remember when you first got your period? Oh, by the way, we're getting totally into TMI today. <laughs> Here's what I remember. I got home from school and I went to the bathroom and there was a little bit of blood and it was super exciting. So I called my mom at work. This is me using a rotary dial telephone, by the way, because it was 1982. And she was all like, oh, you're a woman now. And when she came home that night, she brought me flowers. It was so sweet. And then there was pretty much nothing going on for like the next six months, which was a little bit anticlimactic. Okay, but after that, all of a sudden, it was like, my body just exploded. Remember that movie they had us watch in fourth grade where they talked about the reproductive system in like really clinical terms and then told us it was still okay to take a bath when you're on your period? Yeah, that did not prepare me for the realities of puberty. I thought that it was just about like, not having your period and then having your period. But no, my hair changed, my skin changed, my moods totally changed, my need for sleep changed. I, I went from having stick straight hair to suddenly having curls. My acne was, I mean, it was a nightmare. My moods were a nightmare and all I wanted to do with sleep. Well, all I wanted to do was sleep during the day. I actually, I slept through class <laughs> and I took a nap when I got home from school, but then I totally stayed up all night teaching myself how to juggle, talking to my friends on the phone. By then we had, you know, push button. And I mean, sometimes I was doing homework. You know what didn't change? My eating habits, which were not great to be honest, and my exercise habits, which were also pretty much non-existent. And so my weight totally changed because my body was changing, but my habits didn't. So within about six months of actually starting my period, I had put on 30 pounds and I didn't recognize my body anymore. And the thing is, honestly, it took me about 15 years to really like manage myself. Getting my weight under control without disordered thinking, which is a whole nother topic for a whole nother day. And like learning how to exercise and eat in a way that felt good. So of course, as soon as I got that in hand, oh yes, I got pregnant. All of a sudden it was like, my body exploded again. And of course I went out and bought all the, you know, what to expect series of books. But again, like that movie in fourth grade, they did not really prepare me for the realities of pregnancy. I, foolishly, thought that it was something about just growing a baby, but yet somehow I'd still feel like myself. But no, once again, my hair changed, my skin changed, my moods totally changed, and my needs for sleep changed. Now, this time around, I actually did change my habits, but not in a helpful way at all. I, for whatever reason, took pregnancy as a complete vacation from everything I'd been doing to take care of myself. I ate constantly, and even though I wasn't super into exercise before I got pregnant, I just stopped working out at all. Now, obviously my weight was going to change because I was pregnant, but I gained 50 pounds in seven months, which was quite a bit more than my doctor advised. And of course being pregnant is temporary and it's so different from your normal state that I didn't ever really settle in and figure things out. But even after I had the baby, I didn't recognize my body at all. And then postpartum, I mean, my hair changed, my skin changed, my moods changed, and my needs for sleep changed again. And no sooner did I kind of have a handle on maybe sort of kind of getting things figured out with me and the baby, I got pregnant again. <laughs> my body had not bounced back by any stretch of the imagination before I was on that baby making roller coaster again. But two babies and a vasectomy later, I actually had a really nice long stretch of time in my 30s and 40s where I really did feel like I had figured everything out. I was completely dialed into a way of eating that felt great and maintained my weight. I was able to exercise vigorously and often. I mean, truly, I felt amazing. And then, 
<laughs> my body kind of exploded. You guys, nobody showed me a cheesy movie or sold me a helpful book series that prepared me for how perimenopause would change. My hair, my skin, my moods, and yes, again, my needs for sleep. Not to mention my weight. Now, thankfully, I only gained about 10 pounds over the course of about three years. So it was slow and it was gradual. I mean, as explosions go, but the overall effect was still the same as entering puberty or being pregnant or postpartum. I didn't recognize my body. Now, I'm finally gonna tie this all together with the promise I made you at the intro of this video and I'm going to lay it out for you really clearly. The reason you're gaining weight, the reason I gained weight, is because your body is changing. And you, I, haven't changed your habits to accommodate those physical and biological changes. And the thing is, I know I'm not telling you something you don't already know. You literally leave me comments every day saying things like, I'm so frustrated and confused. The things I used to do to lose weight aren't working anymore. I know, right? So what do we do? What habits need to change? Well, first and foremost, it's time to stop trying to eat less and move more. That formula, it might have worked for us when we were younger, but honestly, only if you were actually eating too much and exercising too little, which I did sometimes, absolutely. But even then, only up to a certain point did that actually work. No matter how old or young you are, there's a point of diminishing returns on eating less and less and less and moving more and more and more. And that point of diminishing returns, it's right here. It's right now. It's menopause land. <laughs> because when you are not properly fueling your activity, eventually your body gives up, it shuts down, and it moves straight into fat storage mode to try and simply stay alive. And that is what your body is doing right now. The amount that you've been eating and the way that you've been working out for years is both too much exercise and too little fuel. Your body is changing. Now it's time to eat the right amount of food and get the right amount of exercise, which actually means that another habit that needs to change is how you think about eating and working out. You know, all those other times in my life when my body like poof, exploded, I'll be honest, I reacted with anger. I was so mad that my body was changing, that I didn't understand it anymore. And I think that's why it took me so many years after each of the explosions to finally like settle down and figure things out. So this time I'm trying something different. I am loving my body through this change rather than being angry at it. My friends, the fact is menopause is supposed to happen. You were always going to lose your estrogen. You were always going to be subject to the laws of gravity. <laughs> your body is changing. And so I am here to help you change your habits. I know it's not a cute pamphlet with daisies on it or a free sample of a sanitary belt. Do you remember those awful things? How, how did we survive with that? I have no idea. But anyways, I have a couple of actually really good and helpful resources for you. On the practical side of things, this video right here will tell you everything that you need to know about losing weight at 50 and beyond. And this other video will help you with how you think about getting older and dealing with changes. My friends, either way, whichever one you pick, I'll see you in the next video.